This is George Shotgun Shuba. You may or may not have heard of him, but he was an outfielder on the 1955 Brooklyn Dodgers team that won the World Series. Shotgun Shuba was known for his swing, which appeared to be as natural as a smile. Now, the reason that I'm telling you this is because there's a beautiful exchange in Roger Kahn's The Boys of Summer that reveals how Shuba got his swing. And it goes like this. Khan visits Shuba and tells him, I would have given anything to have had your natural swing. To which Shuba replies, you could have. Shuba explains to Khan what he did every single offseason. First, he drilled a hole in his bat and filled it with 10 ounces of lead. Then, he took a ball of string and made knots in it until it hung in a clump, like a ball. Then, reaching for a chart marked with X's, he says, in the winters, for 15 years, I'd swing at the clump 600 times, every night, and after 60, I'd make an X. 10 X's and I had my 600 swings. Then I could go to bed. George Shuba got his natural swing by swinging a leaded baseball bat at a ball of string 47,000 times every winter. Let that sink in for a minute. It's easy to look at sports stars or business leaders and think that they're naturals. And honestly, a few of them might be. But the truth is that most of them only look like naturals. And they look like naturals because they've put in the practice. George Shuba didn't have natural talent. He developed a skill. He swung a 44-ounce bat 600 times every night each winter. There's nothing natural about that. The moral of the story is this, don't fixate on whether or not you're a natural. Anything you can learn is a skill. And the way to build skills is through deliberate practice. Get your 10 X's before bed, then do it again tomorrow. That's how the naturals do it.